There's my dad with the 418 squadron from the city of Edmonton, uh, fourth from the right. Central England where they trained the United Forces trained pilots during the war. When they weren't flying missions, they were training pilots. And uh, my dad uh, rarely spoke about the war, but he left several pictures behind. And, uh, and thus my interest in talking with Jim here at the air show this year to, to come and talk because during the war, my dad was a, an avid, se serious amateur photographer and uh, took pictures when he came to visit his folks in London, bombed out uh, after the, the V-1 bombers came through. And then uh, after the war, he got into radio and was a morning man. Started at CKLB in Oshawa and uh, would play records for me, introducing me on the air to Les Paul and Mary Ford and their latest record, Joe Stafford, Patty Page, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So my background interest in, in both music and photography came from my father, who flew many of these aircraft, and Dad would. Uh, escort Lancasters over Germany and France. They dropped round bombs behind dams, would skip them into the dam and flood the valley. That's my father, sir. Father. Yeah, that's in uh, Santa Monica in 1997. Monica. Yeah, he's 87 in this picture. And he came down for a week. I made him stay for a month and said, Dad, uh, you're here for a month. I'm happy you're here. And uh, I owe you 19 years uh, before we're even, because I lived in your house for 19 years. But uh, he came down for the Bob Hope Invitational in Palm Springs. This is a, a movie director that also painted, a friend of mine, Bruce Malmuth, who did uh, Steven Seagal movies and Rutger Hauer movies. There he is at the Palm Springs Air Show in Palm Springs, California. And my dad could fly hurricanes, spitfires, mustangs, and mosquitoes. This is the car we rented him for the Bob Hope International. It's a little uh, Chrysler Crossfire. I couldn't get him away from it. He liked it so much. And then before leaving Palm Springs, you had to have a date shake. Uh, the, uh, the Coachella Valley now uh, outsells Arabia for dates. And this is the uh, biggest restaurant for making date shakes. He had to have one be before he came home. There's my dad at my uh, cousin's wedding in Phoenix. The uh, second last time I saw him. As a and uh, I uh, officially retired and, and moved there as a retiree. So I didn't have a lot of the same paperwork, but uh, my two cats had more papers to get into the U.S. than I did. So. And it took them two weeks to go through quarantine to get there. So, But uh, Dad is the reason that we're doing this here at the Air Museum. It's also uh, to, to let everybody know that this facility can be cleaned up, moved for all kinds of social events once you can figure out how to get here. Uh, it's quite a facility, and of course, with this kind of background with aircraft in the crowd, it's pretty unique. 